Hi guys, this is Avinash Sharma and in this session, we will discuss the DAX function same period last year. Same period last year in DAX. What is that? This function returns a table that contains a column of dates. It returns a table with a single column and the list of dates. Which dates? The date one year back from the current year. As you can see in the syntax, same period last year, then we have to supply the dates and the return type is a single value, single column value. Now we have a very important point. This is not returning one single value. Means you cannot use it directly in a measure. It means this function does not return a single value. This returns a list of dates, back dates. So we cannot use this function independently. We have to use this function with other function as a filter. Now, how and why to use this function? Generally, we use this function for the comparison of the sales of the two periods, current year and the back year. As you can see in the diagram, suppose we have year 2010 and our total sale is the 1000. Now we want to compare with the previous year. So if you see 2009, when we use this function, so automatically it will take the previous year 2009 and then give this result. So we can check in the current year sales increase or decrease. In the same, also we can compare the quarters 2010 and quarter 1. Then using this function, we can take out the quarter 1 for the previous year. Then we can compare the sales. Also we can compare the month wise. So 2010, then month January and 2009, January, it was 2000. So for the comparison of the sales or any other kind of data for the last year or current year, we can use this function. Before we start our practical, first of all, we check the data and we have the data for the sales date, gross sales and net sales. In uh, sales date, we have the dates for the three years, say 20, 19 and 18. Now, we need the comparison of for gross sales or like total sales or net sales. Like what was the so, uh, total sales for the this year current year say 20 and then what was the for the 19 so that we can compare the sales between the current year and the previous. So for this comparison, we can use the same period last year tax function. Now, we do the practical. So first of all, the data already uploaded sales date gross sales and net sales now first of all we create a measure and it's to m total gross then gross sales the measure created and now we take a card and gross sales it's a 8450 now we take a table in table we take sales date so we need only year, we remove quarter, month and day. So according to our data, we have three years. The, day, the sales for the three years, 18, 19 and 20. Now the 20 is our current year. Okay. Now, measure. So these are the sales. For 18, 19 and 20. 1800 for 18, 4754 19 and 1896 it's a for 2020. These are the current sales. Now we want to compare for the previous year. Okay. Now we create another measure. M. 
previous data. So this time we will use the calculate function because we have to use the because we have to use the same year last year and that function cannot be used independently. So it has to be used with the some function. So we use the calculate calculate an expression we can use the measures recently we created that is the m total gross m total gross now comma same period last year and sales date this is the date then dot date and that's it it is done now now so drag and drop this measure in table okay also we take another card and previous data now we check the data this is the total sales 8450 in card this is the total of 3 years 8450 and this is the total of previous years 6554 6554 because the current year is the 20 and for the 20 19 is the previous year so in 20 sales was the 1896 in current year and in previous year that is the 4754 it is in 19 sales for the year for 19 1800 this is coming from the 18 previous year now we compare the sales okay we can verify this value from our sheet for 18 these are three figures we take these figures and one eight double zero for eighteen now for nineteen four seven five four and four twenty three figures one eight nine six so we are doing like we are doing the comparison manually and that function same year last year does it automatically for us okay back to the power bi now suppose we want to present data in some graph okay so first of all on axis we take year and hierarchy we remove quarter month and day so we keep only year okay now in values first of all gross sales so these are the data now so we can compare the data in the graph 18 19 and 20 so these are the sales figures now we take another measure with the same period last year function previous data now we can see so 2020 is the current year it's a 1.9 and 4.8k this sales is from the previous year for so 4754 this sales is from the previous year 2019 
you can see this one and in 19 the current 4.8k then 1.8 this is the 1800 this is from the previous year means from 18 year now suppose you need the comparison of the sales for the quarters quarters of the previous year so in table and now we have all labels year quarter month and day so we need only the year and quarter then we remove month and day now we can compare the data quarter with the year so current year is the 2020 quarter 4 this is the current 657 and 1787 this is coming from the previous year means 19 quarter 4 so this is the 1787 in 2020 quarter 3rd current 789 and 2271 again this is coming from the previous year that is 19 double to seven and same case is with the year 18 so this is how you can compare the data year quarters month and day so guys this was all about the same period last year tax function thanks for watching the video